Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Factorio with the Hard Crafting mod installed. I am your host, Alex, and you're watching FCOD Gaming. I just noticed that when you take trees out, they leave stumps behind. It's a nice little detail. Anyway, uh, we're setting up copper mining here. Um, I did take the time to bring some uh, big power poles out so we didn't have to waste time with that. <clears throat> and I did plop some uh, lights down so you guys can kind of see what's going on as well. So I think what we're going to do, I'm going to set down just a bunch of mines. We'll go four by four. Oops. Like so. And then we'll put another one out here. Uh, just to kind of make sure all of this copper gets used up. So we've got that, and then need some uh, power poles as well. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to, well, I can set the damn thing up. So I'm going to set it up somewhat like that. Let's go ahead and bring... Actually, I don't need that right there. I need it right there. And there. All right, and those are all going to start mining. And then, of course, we need some power down there. But before I do that, I'm going to make a blueprint. Oops. I need uh, tracks here. Bear belts, that's what they're called. Anyway, um, let's put those anywhere. And we'll, we'll just do a three long mining rig and call it good. Alright, and we'll hook the rest of this up as well. Something like that. And then, we're going to need a mechanism to uh, get all of the dirt off of here before it gets, gets sent to the train. So I think what we're going to do gonna have this belt go off to the left here <clears throat> excuse me now I'm gonna have like just an insane amount of smart inserters um, let's go five five smart inserters and then, uh, actually, this will be better. Okay, so, wish I would quit putting those away over there. So we'll have the entire line get down here. Something like that. And then... Okay, we're done laying track. I don't really need that. No. Uh, let's set this for slag just first off. Okay, that's not close enough. So let's... Really? That's not close enough? Well, just make sure it works. Okay. Uh, let's... Do slag, gravel, and ore. I'll pop down a few more of these here. We'll do our copy and paste thing. Like a so. And then what we're gonna do. 
kind of blows. Um, I guess we'll have this on the other side. Powering that, and then that'll link everything up together. Then what we're going to do. So we'll have some smart inserters like so. And they're going to grab dirt. And they're going to actually... Do I want to have a box as a buffer for these? I probably do. Dang it. Okay. So... Let's try and be smart about this. We'll do that. And that. And that's gonna... mean... Let's go one on each side like so. How'd that go like that? Bring this up like so. Then we can go ahead and just take that off for right now. We'll eventually re replace them with fast inserters. Oops. Okay, that's that's gonna fill all those up. I need to just put my back together right here. Anyway. <clears throat> and then we'll have these boxes filled up by these smart inserters, which are gonna just have dirt. Alright. So that'll get rid of the dirt. All the stuff that we're transporting back is getting put into these boxes. And then we'll just have fast inserters go from there. And then we're gonna set up another belt. Oops, that's way too close. Another belt here with fast inserters. Go ahead. Give the rest of those power as well. Now we're going to get our incinerators. We'll just put all of those right in a line there. Try to have this so it actually makes sense here. There we go. I'm gonna have this go all the way down. I don't know why I didn't want to go in that spot, but whatever. So all the way down, and then we need some more inserters here. Hopefully that'll be enough to kind of keep up with uh, the dirt production. If not, we have a pretty substantial buffer um, with the steel boxes, so shouldn't really be that big of a deal if we do uh, start falling behind. Oh my god! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that's that's a lot of spitters, but I think I'm I have a tank right here. Personal laser defense, I forgot about that. Alright. Which brings me to my next order of business, which is setting up the walls around this place. Alright, so I think what I'm gonna do. Well, I'm gonna need to take a few more of these trees out, I think. I'll just kinda. 
do what we can here. I wish I had a, uh, a use for all this wood. But I really don't. Yeah, all this should be... good to be taken down. Hopefully... I won't fill my inventory up. That wouldn't be very good. Can't send the at least a lot of this wood to the uh, garbage pile there. Hopefully this is faster than actually chopping the trees down. I have a feeling that it, that it would be. Uh, while we're at it, we set uh, some, some of these ingredients in there. And we'll go ahead and have the rest of this cleared out. Alright, and I'm going to set down a few wall blueprints here. I don't think I'm going to need any more space than this, so might as well just wall off what I need here. Something like that. Just kind of let them keep up with me here. And we're really not far from base, but... Oh well. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'll put laser turrets, especially on these corners, uh, facing that biter nest, but uh, more than likely I'll have them uh, on all four corners. Maybe we'll go ahead and go down here. And then just enough to make sure that we are able to put a gate in. So probably down here. Might be a little bunch, but oh well. And my battery's depleted. So hopefully that's not gonna be an issue. Alright, am I out of walls? I have a feeling I am that I am. Nope, not quite. Oh, they're just waiting for charge. Okay. Actually, I probably don't need all that. So let's go down here. Hopefully... Well... Yeah, I think... Robots die if they're not powered, don't they? So I might want to be careful. But I'm going to set, set down the rest of these anyway. Alright, so they're getting slow. Sun is coming out, though, so hopefully it won't be an issue for much longer. Go ahead and set that up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, looks like they are charging a little bit. Since I do have solar panels. Let's look and see. Yeah, I've got barely any electricity going on. I wish there was a way to uh, charge your batteries from your electricity grid. I don't think there's a way to do that. If there is, let me know. Because I would love to hear it. Alright, 
So I might have overextended my charge here. Hmm. What I can do is build a gate. Put that down manually. Is that something I'll need? Alright, so they're starting to catch back up, I guess. What's that? Yeah. That's working. Do I need... Oh, I need two of them. Oh. That means my other one's probably got a gap in it. Well, I have ro one robot charged up. <laughs> All right, let's, um, well, I don't want to abandon these robots that are too slow. These guys are charging up, though, so that's at least something. I mean, they're not charging fast, but they're getting charged. Not sure how much the uh, the sun actually gives me. If I get out of the range of blueprints, are they just going to go back inside of me? I have a feeling that's what's going to happen. So yeah, let's get these guys back inside. So there's one, and this is going to take forever. Charge all these dudes up. Oh, I can just do that. Alright. So, let's... Head back here. I think 30 seconds should be adequate. I'm gonna test it out, but uh, especially with oh shit, I leave right as biters are fucking attacking. Oh, and these are gonna have to be fast builds too, or put into boxes themselves. Okay, let's. So, that sucks. God damn it. Let's get back in my freaking tank. Apparently take out all my shit. Come on. This bastard's done yet. Let's 
go ahead. I'm actually going to make a couple repair packs just to uh, repair what damage they, they did do. Say they're missing construction robots, which I don't really understand. Do I still not have anybody charged up? I bet that's what it is. So what happens uh, if I manually pick them? That's kind of cheaty. But if I man manually pick them up, they get a full charge. Which is pretty cheaty, I will admit. But, but yeah, right now, I don't really care. So these guys are missing material. Alright. I think that'll be fine. So let's go ahead. And uh, I'm going to head back to the base just on foot. Oh, actually, my train's right here. So let's go ahead. We'll go. Go back this way. Hopefully, my, hopefully I didn't just lose my robot. I feel like I might have. We'll see how that works. Um, I'm going to pause right here while we're waiting to get resupplied. What I'm going to do. <coughs> is <it> actually. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so that's going to be box. Box. Inserter. We'll get this set up so that it's. Uh, What you call it, uh, so that we have a buffer here, so that not just two inserters are able to unload. Okay. So we can do that, and I'm actually going to pick up these inserters in this uh, belt here. Gonna drop down. Oops. Something like that. And then something like that. And then something like this. Like so. So that should help alleviate. Um, Some of that traffic, basically. God damn it. Okay, how am I on walls? Do I have, I have some walls? Right? I don't know why I picked up some logistics robots. Do I have any, any construction robots? Did they all get lost? Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to head up there. Probably gonna crash the train by running into the truck. Alright. Is that it? Okay. Where are my construction robots? Just disappear? Just get absorbed by the other network? Maybe? Hopefully? We'll see. Anyway, let's go ahead. I'm just going to pick up 25 of them. Do it that way. 
hopefully that'll be enough to kind of satiate um, any supply and demand issues that we have. I need some repair packs. There. Apparently I'm out of power too. No? Oh my god, where are those fucking robots? Must have lost them somewhere. Probably, there they are. So let's go ahead and pick these guys up. I'm actually really low on electricity in my logistics thing. Really well. Why don't I just pick these guys up? And then while we're here, let's have them fix up this stuff the cheaty way. So we've got that stuff. Let's uh, re put down our walls here. Hopefully, they'll kind of keep up with it. And if they start not doing stuff because they're out of charge, I'm just going to cheat. Sounds reasonable to me. None of you guys have power, apparently. Okay. I'll just kind of slowly fill this wall in. There's that, and then let's go ahead with those. And we'll need power there as well. All right, so that should at least help. Hopefully that's enough to uh, kind of keep the biters at bay. But yeah, we'll find out. So anyway, let's go ahead. I don't know why I have to go all the way around. I thought I told it to go to just to that station, but apparently not. 
I also need to set up a coal uh, requester there. Which shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, so hopefully this is going to get filled up within the 30 seconds. I'll keep an eye on it. What I really should do to avoid things becoming lopsided is uh, designate these slots to be certain things. Alright, yeah, so 30 seconds is enough. It's plenty. I have a feeling it might be beneficial to set up another uh, trailer on the back of it, though. I'm going to pause that. Hopefully, <clears throat> we're still, yeah, nothing's clogged up at least, so that's, that's a good sign. Uh, why are you not getting dirt? So we'll let everything kind of catch up with me as far as uh, all this stuff goes. So really, eventually, we won't need uh, this incinerator anymore. Well, yeah, we'll need this one, but we shouldn't need this one. So it is catching up. You're not catching up, but it's as it goes, it's uh, slowly kind of filling things back in. I wonder. I'm going to turn this off for the next rotation and see if maybe I need gravel. Because that used up pretty much all of my gravel that I had sent in. Oh no, there's there's a bunch of more. But we'll see if that's if that clogs up the loop here. Hopefully it doesn't. I wouldn't think it would too badly. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it is. Alright, and we are producing a decent amount of copper, so that's great. Probably take a little while to catch back up, since we're completely out of it right now. But, um, but yeah, that's great. There's lag. I'm going to go ahead and set this uh, to go on another trip. I'm pretty sure 30 seconds on each end would be a good time. This is kind of hard to say, but... So apparently I need another laser turret, like, in the middle here. Which might be okay. I'll just go there. Hopefully that'll be fine. Yeah, and I've got, I've actually got too many incinerators for this, for this setup. Oh, actually this isn't... 
this mine's not going anywhere. <laughs> but yeah, I may end up uh, keeping an eye on this and seeing if I can actually get rid of any of these. So that was one loop. Let's see if that's enough time for us to uh, have our boxes completely un unfilled. Unfilled, that's not a word. You know what I mean. And then after that, I think I'm going to call it an episode because it, it's been a little over half an hour. That's a little ridiculous. Oh, I was going to check in on that uh, fence, too. But yeah, it's not empty at all. So I may have to work on that uh, just to get some throughput. But, uh, but we can work on that. It shouldn't be that big of an issue. But it looks like we're offloading nicely, which is great. Looks like everything has been staying pretty well balanced anyway. Uh, let's look at our power. How? Yeah, we're not not dipping into it at all. That's great. It looks like there is a little bit of a backup here uh, with the gravel, but I have a feeling that as they pick up more ore, they're going to pick up just as much gravel. So I don't think that's going to be an issue. Hopefully. And how much of the copper is actually making it through to everybody? Because this is like full production um, potential, pretty much, for what I have set up now. And almost none of it is making it through the, the uh, logistics network, which is really too bad. But it is going to take a little while for that to catch up. So, But anyway, I'm going to call this an episode here. Uh, what's going on with my iron? Well, I'll check on that in the next episode. Um, but yeah, if you liked this episode, uh, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more of this series and other series that I'm doing, um, as of the date, or as of the time this video is posted, uh, there should be another series coming out tomorrow. Um, probably RimWorld. But one way or another, there, there will be another series. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, so subscribe if you'd like to see some of that. And uh, yeah, as always, remember to take care of yourselves out there. And thanks for watching.